breaking news out of Pasco County tonight. A man rushed to the hospital after he got too close to some power lines. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos joins us live with what she's learned. Maricela. You can see behind me that equipment has not been moved. We're off of Skinner Drive in Spring Hill, and I'm going to give you some details that the Pasco County Fire Rescue gave me earlier. They say this man was trimming trees in a bucket truck when it touched the power lines. The incident happened two minutes after four, according to them, and we're also told the man was awake and breathing but suffered severe electrical burns. Now, I'm here with 18-year-old Luke Kilmer, who he tells me this man is your aunt's boyfriend, correct? And you used to work for him. So describe what you heard earlier. So I was in my room uh, watching TV and I heard my aunt yelling, uh, help him get him down. And I didn't know what they were talking about at first because they were uh, cutting down trees. So I went outside and she was uh, screaming, crying. And he was up there uh, conscious, but not knowing what happened. And he had been uh, electrocuted in the neck and had came out through his hip when he was trying to cut down one of the limbs off of a tree, helping us out for the day, uh, cut down some of our trees around our property. And as he was going to cut it down, he had ducked under, I believe, and went to go cut it off and it hit the back of his neck. Yes, and that's what you said. You said it was the uh, lift was going up. It hit the back yeah. of his neck and mm -hmm. you said he practices safety. You worked for him. Yeah, he works for me. He has his own uh, tree company. He goes all over uh, Pasco County, Newport Ritchie, Hudson, Clearwater, and um, He's done this plenty of times before. It's only half the height that it normally goes, but we've gone higher than that, uh, cut down bigger trees than this, and hasn't had a problem. It's just an accident. Thank you so much for talking to us. And we do know that man was rushed to the hospital. As soon as we learn some more information, of course, we'll bring that back to you. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.